हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अन अदर टॉपिक आफ्टर लिसनिंग टू योर लॉट ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट्स आई एम मेकिंग अनदर वीडियो अबाउट रिव्यू ऑफ एम टेक इन डेटा साइंस दिस टाइम आई हैव मच मोर नॉलेज एंड आई वुड से आई हैव लाइक ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीटेड माई डिग्री सो आई कैन गिव यू बेटर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस एम टेक डिग्री इन डेटा साइंस फ्रॉम बिट्स पिलानी सो दिस इज समथिंग हैपनिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू and i am going to cover advantages who should do it disadvantages and improvements needed and this is purely based on my experience other people can have different experience with the degree so whatever i am going to say this is based on my opinions and before taking any decision please consult with other people as well so that you take so that you take a well informed decision if you have watched my last videos i have always spoke about advantages who should do it what are the disadvantages and improvements needed i can give you more information about it because i have almost finished my degree and i have a better experience to share with you let's talk about the advantages first so we will start with the advantages what are the advantages so we have to look on advantages on three aspects one is like what is first thing i look only on the visa because this is something i was looking for and uh, it helped me to get a job so that's why i can say that okay it helped me here so for example if you go to canada and in other countries where hsm highly skill migrant visa is needed uh, mtech degree helps and this is recognized over there this has been recognized for me it depends on the country and where you are going so check with your consultant but most of the time it will be recognized this is one of the uh, thing i was looking for another was like career transition so moving to the next level whatever the position for example if you are on the engineer position and you want to move to the tech lead role you need an extra degree because that's where that's how it has been set up that's how it has been working so if you want to fast pace your career from here to this this is also needed it's it may happen very quickly over here without a degree also but for example if you are a manager and you want to become a let's say ai solution architect or which is like oh, oh, over and about this position and you want to move forward so if you have an mtech degree it helps me it will help you i have seen in my organization most of the director who are hod means head of the department have ms degree or masters degree in in, in any their area for example whether they are in data science or they are in like uh, software systems so they have a masters degree so this is also one of the area and uh, advantage of this degree because this is recognized by industry in this aspect okay now coming to the next part which is about knowledge in the knowledge space you will see that uh, this alone cannot give you a job not at all so if you take this degree and you go and you expect that there is a placement will happen will happen not not at all will happen okay this degree what it does it builds your foundational knowledge so if you want to utilize maximum from this degree you have to take supplementary courses i would say supplementary courses and you can take from coursera edx or youtube or best case you know what it will be it will be find out a mentor actually i would say the best thing would be a mentor find out a already working data scientist existing data scientist work with him and this guy will make sure that you have all the knowledge and all the hands on experience for getting a job so this knowledge builds your foundation which your mentor can't build because that's not possible he can only help you with the hands on experience and making you job ready but this pro this particular degree cannot make you job ready so you need both together and i would say find out a mentor if you have to if you are making a decision make this way you take this mtech program plus find a mentor who can guide you and start building projects that's will be the best best case alone this degree alone i am again saying alone this degree will not give you a placement you need to put extra efforts you need to put extra uh, extra hours in self learning and then only you will go to the job market okay that's what it has to be now talking about talking about the another aspect is uh, is where, how relevant this is to the job market so there are courses which are quite aligned with the job market for example deep learning natural language processing information retrieval probabilistic theories and there there are many courses like that and they are quite aligned what you will be doing in industry so uh, job relevance now next topic comes here is like job relevance so i would say quite relevant courses you will be doing and those courses are such as like i said deep learning nlp information retrieval graph 
graphical models things like that these are quite advanced and also good for the industrial knowledge if, but you need to these are theory knowledge here you need to build your set projects in parallel this also helps you this degree will sure. help you to uh, bring a brand to the table and i have seen oh, with few of my friends that this this helped actually there is no question of validity of this so this is a valid degree you could see that ugc has approved so uh, two years back this was not the case but ugc approval is already there you can find out on their website so this is also an advantage here in nutshell what what it does if you look on this degree this degree is like a strong foundation okay and you have many advantages on that so this is what what is the possibilities in that let's move to that i would like to answer this question who should do it okay right audience somebody who is already working as a data scientist machine learning engineer or data engineer or data analyst can take up this degree to advance in the career why when i say advance advance means it comes from the basics okay so you will be learning a lot of basics in these courses which you have might have missed during your other online courses and you will go better you will move forward in your career i can give you my example before this degree when i was making a decision and explaining it to the big forum let's say these people are coming from this different organization my decisions were quite i, I would say it was very much practical but theoretically i was lacking some knowledge foundational knowledge i would say after this degree now i can say that my level has improved in terms of the foundational knowledge and i am able to explain them better what i'm trying to say in terms of data science and machine learning algorithms i have already i have been already working in industry so maybe i'm little biased here but that's what i have observed in my personality and also in my way of talking and communicating my data science results so this is the best course for these people and to advance the career other than this if you are for example in software testing management and other other aspects you need to supplement yourself with the hands on projects and then this is also a good fit for you hands on projects okay these are the best people to take this course you can take any i mean experience wise i would say anyone like after 1 to 5 5 to 10 and 10 or uh, 10 plus can also take this but depending on what position you will be targeting i'm sure after 10 plus years you are not going to become a developer uh, you will be somewhere solution architect or some design level person so uh, you need to take advantage of this degree based on your experience and where you are right now okay that's all about who should do this degree next question we want to answer is disadvantages of this particular degree there are many disadvantages i will be very frank on that the first one is uh, it's costly so for example the first disadvantage what i have observed is the cost they have increased the cost right now uh, it's 62.7 k per semester so if you calculate and multiply it for with multiply with four so it will be somewhere like 2.5 lakhs this is your absolute money in order to get this 2.5 lakhs you need to earn 1.3 if you are in the 30 percent tax bracket so 1.3 which will be like 3.25 lakhs so actually you are paying this 2.2 for 3.24 lakhs over the period of two years and if you factor out the you can factor out your inflation here and then you can come to the lower figure also like this is up to you how you want to decide but this is something the amount you need to earn in order to pay your complete fee so find this course worth of 3.25 right now it is worth of let's say 2 lakhs but if it is like 2 lakhs in the absolute terms i'm taking talking about in absolute terms but not more than that let's next point where is the disadvantage is is the teacher's quality so not all teachers are from bits and there are some industry people also and there is a on and off i would say the quality is compromised so this is one of the area it's not heavily compromised it's like it's not the best i would say it's good to okay you can watch my another video where i have talked about more the quality things so that you get a balanced overview on that now right now networking is an issue for example you are working with people on online like they are taking their own courses so you don't build that bonding actually which you could have built in the full time so that's one of the aspect i see so the fourth point i would like to highlight here and it's very very critical here is is like the pace of the course i mean it's very fast paced one thing fast 
and then also too much too much information you know it's too heavy so you for example your weekends will be completely packed for two years weekend completely packed for two years and it's it's a huge pain you will you might not realize it in the initial stage but you will realize it once you uh, uh, enroll in the course you have to be available for every weekend for two days because classes are two hours for two days two hours two hours two hours two hours so sunday saturday and that is also like 10 to 2 2 to 4 so your whole weekend is like packed here and it's for two years so that becomes very tough for somebody who is working in the industry and is acquainted to weekend life okay what are the improvements needed so this is also one of the point i want to highlight that what are the improvements needed in this case so let's talk about the improvements as well let me explain you this from my experience so improvements okay it's first thing i think they need to improve the teaching teachers okay they need to have equal and consistent teaching across the batches there is inconsistency of teachers with the different different batches then what i feel that more proactive communication needs to be done it's like in student drives the things from their side so more proactive communication needs to be done from from bits team in addition to this bits has to push for more industry recognition of the degree it's not they are not pushing it too much industry recognition of the degree they are broadcasting like they are advertising it like anything another thing can be improved is like uh, more about the coding so the uh, bits can come up with some dummy dummy projects in on their portal they have good portal and give it access to the students like Coursera and run those those projects on the bits portal so that could also be one of the good improvement because coding is a little missing in this complete course and this is something which can be managed over the portal I, if you can the, these are the all i wanted to say about it at the end this is again same course i would still recommend you so my recommendation would be my recommend okay my recommendation is if you if you don't have money issue okay take this degree okay if you are going with five years bond okay five years bond with a company with for this degree big no if you can't pay this wait and then wait and then pay i would say wait and pay is a better model because having a five years bond for this particular degree is not wise it's not a very heavy addition to your professional career right now if you have to sign five years bond for this particular degree i would say don't do that because five years is a long time and uh, instead of that if you can't pay it right now wait and then pay for it and then uh, use it somewhere in your career it's never late it's just a mtech degree you already have a foundational degree on your place you can maximize your potential from there and then take it uh, this degree from your own money that will be very beneficial for you that's all about this particular video i have given everything what i wanted to communicate you can watch my other videos else also where i elaborated more on the advantages you might feel there are different opinions from me because i have grown with this program this is my latest one where i have my final verdict right now because i am about to finish this course so guys with this i close the video thanks a lot i'm coming up with more videos if you like share uh, with your friends if you like more subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video